right, guys, at the computer, the first thing you want to do is get the free SVG file. So you want to go to the website, 3dsvg.com. You will see this screen. Top toolbar, you want to click where it says free SVG files. And we're on the first page right here is the bushel basket. Go to click on that. We're going to add that to our cart and then check out. Now, if you don't have an account with Dreaming Tree, you can create one. It's free to do that. All right, add to cart here. We're going to go up top and click on check out. I'm going to place order. You want to give it a few minutes to process. There will be a download link on this screen, also in your email as well. All right, that is done. You can see there that blue button. Click on that to download the file to your computer. In my case, it downloads to my download folder. I'm going to click on that and open that up. It comes in as a zip file. I'm using a Mac, so all I need to do is double click on that to open it up, and you will see it there. I'm going to close that out. Now we're going, to, we're going to go to the Brother workspace. I already have that open. Left-hand side toolbar, you will see the little button that says SVG. I'm going to click on that. Now we're going to go to the file on my computer where I saved that as, which you can see here, bushel basket. I'm going to click on that. Click on SVG. You will see there's three parts to it. I'm going to click on this one. Click Open. Now, one thing I will say with Dreaming Tree files, you want to always go over them and right-click and choose a group, or if you're using the Cricut, you want to click select all and click attach. That way that puts the score marks on there for you. All right, go back to the SVG button again, grab the other piece, double click on that to bring that in. Again, I'm gonna, even though it looks like it's grouped together, just go across it and right click and choose, in this case, it already is grouped together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these two pieces out first. Just put a piece of yellow in the very upper left-hand corner, a piece of red in the bottom corner. To take it to the Brother machine, you want to go to the very top toolbar, click on File, Transfer via the Internet. Again, it'll um, right there, so it's ready to download to my computer, so it's already, it's already on the machine. Go there and cut it out. When that is done, come back to this screen and delete these pieces. Go back to the SVG button on the left-hand side and click on the other part here. Again, take your mouse across all of that, right-click on that and choose Group. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, and then we'll go to the um, table and put our basket together. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, we are back. Everything is cut out. I did go ahead and um, ink all these pieces. We're going to make the bushel basket now. So we're going to take this and go ahead and fold on those little tick marks there. I want to get everything creased really well. Okay, so we have that piece here. And then we have this one. going. All right, so now we have our two pieces here. You will see there's a small piece here and a small piece here. We want to attach these like that. So take your glue. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. I get this from MadeMeMeetIt.com. And you want to put the glue right up to the edge of that crease, that fold. Okay, then bring this piece and lay it on top of that, matching up the top and the bottom, like such. Okay, then just give it a rub. All right, so we have, now we have one piece. We're going to flip it over. Now we have this piece here. You want to fold that piece down. Put glue on that piece again. Go as close to the fold as possible. Like that, and then bring this piece over and line it up. You can, line, you can do, lay it flat. I just like picking it up to make sure I'm getting it all lined up. Make sure it's even, the very top and the very bottom. Give it a squish. Pick up your edges, and there we have it. Okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and work on the bottom. You want to take all these little pieces and kind of fold them in. And this is the tricky part. You're going to glue all the, put glue on all these pieces. Make sure they're all folded down. Again, try to get your glue as close to the edge as possible here. Okay, lay on the table and match up this part first. Okay, this flat part. Match that up over there first to get it all kind of shaped. Then you're going to hold it and then bring all these pieces in. Okay, it'll go. It's going to be finicky, but it'll go. If you want to do it one at a time, you can do it that way too. I kind of think, I think it's easier to do it one at a time. Personally, just to get it started, to where you're getting it lined up. Okay, we're going to go that route. My first one is fine, but it didn't line up perfectly. So just take this and just work your way around, lining up each piece. 
That'll give you a more accurate edge, I think. And I'm pushing it on the bottom as well, just to make sure that's nice and on there. Okay, then just kind of shimmy some glue in there and just work your way around. Okay, so get that one on. And as you can see, by doing a few of them, the other piece kind of lines up by itself. Okay, just want to go in there and secure it with some glue. Just allow the glue to dry in between, otherwise you're going to be working your way around and it'll be like non-stop. Okay, that's pretty good. Go in there and just press down a little points. Then there's also this little octagon piece here. It's going to hide your seams there. So put some glue on there. Bring that in, and it fits in there perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little rub. And then what I want to do is ink the edges of this. I'm just using a kitchen sponge I cut up and wet, and I'm using um, this um, soft suede ink. And I'm going to go in there and just ink up the edges. Just real quickly here just to give this piece some character so it's not so new looking. Okay, I'm going to go around the bottom a little bit. Also, I'm not going to do the top because we have the pieces that go there. All right, so now let's go back to these pieces here. This piece and this piece you want to put on the inside. And what that does, that hides the joining seam where we join the two together. And that's what that is for. Just take this, put some glue on it, plus it also strengthens the handle a little bit because it'll have three layers of cardstock on it. So take this one, put it in there. This one, you're just gonna, again, hide that side seam. That's the purpose of that. Give it a good squish and do the other one. And I've been using um, Dreaming Tree files for many years and I've never once had an issue with anything. They go together just like they say they do. Very nicely designed. Okay, so we have that. Now we're going to take our yellow pieces. Why do I have so many yellow pieces? Oh, I guess I cut out something. All right, they're already inked. You want to take this and line it up at the very top. Okay, and just kind of follow that along. So the easiest way to do that is put glue. Just make sure you have it going the right direction first. You can see, okay? Take the first little panel, put some glue on it. And put that on there. I mean, you can go any, it doesn't really matter where you start. You want to make sure even with the top and your fold is your crease there is folding along. I'm going to hold that with my finger and just pop some glue on the rest. Okay, you don't need a whole lot of glue to hold it down. Okay, so I have all that glued up and I'm just going to kind of walk it around really carefully, just pinching it where the top is. Okay, just like that. Super simple. Do the same thing with the other one. You can anyway, match it up. I'm going to just put glue on the first panel here, the first part, just to get it started. Get it lined up all good. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to put glue and work our way around and finish it off. And we're going to do the same thing to the bottom. Oh, that's what the other yellow things are for. Okay. I was having a moment there, okay? And they're gonna meet right there. Now by inking them, it kind of hides that seam a little bit. All right, the bottom, same idea, just test them first. Do one little strip here first, just to get it started and on there. And again, it doesn't really matter. I think I'll start here, so it's opposite of that hole there. And then the holes are really cute. It kind of acts like a staple on a little um, basket. All right, so get that there. Flip it over, put some more glue along the edge. Up, hold that down, okay, and then just walk it across the bottom, getting it even the bottom edge. Okay, and then just give it a good little squish, let that glue kind of grab on there. Okay, then do the second one. And then lastly, we're going to do the center red piece. And I like it when glue or the ink gets everywhere so it's not perfect. If you're, if you want to go with a perfect look, you can, or go with a vintage look, you can um, ink it and whatnot. Okay, and then again, just work your way around. Just gonna line up there. If it doesn't line up perfectly, just kind of shimmy it together, and it'll be fine. Okay. All right. Now we have this piece here. Now, 
And you will see, if you look really closely, there's little tick marks right there. This is where this piece is going to go at the very top of this, is going to go at the very bottom of that. So that way this puts this in the center, okay? Again, same idea, glue one little piece first just to get it going. And you will see the little tick marks there. They're on, I believe they're on every panel. Kind of look at it from the light or the side and you will see. Okay, and then just work our way around. Okay, and just try to kind of keep it straight. Okay, like that. Do our next one. And lastly, we're gonna add the handles and we're gonna be done. So put this one there, lining it up. And then what I'm gonna do is make sure this is lined up and then walk this around, make sure it's gonna line up there, okay. Again, just put a little bit of glue right here along that edge and line it up like that, perfect. Okay, then lastly, we have the handles. And they're gonna get glued. I did ink them, but I can't tell what sort of inked. Okay, and they're gonna get glued on the outside. How cute would this be for a coworker to put treats in? Little fall treats. Okay, get that there. And do the other one. Put this on this side. Again, just kind of shimmy it. Pinch it, closed. And there you have it. How adorable, right? Then I just took a paper bag and I cut it and I just shredded it. To kind of put in there to serve as the stuff there. Right, how super cute. So there is that one and there is this one here. All right guys, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.